G'day, my name's Dan, and today we're going to have a look at the World Builder campaign tool. It's built into more core, and it's also available as an extension for all core RPG rule sets. Here's the tool to launch it. So we can see we've entered in some details for a number of different uh, groups or places or religions. So we'll have a quick look at a an entry in here. So we've got City of Waterdeep, and we can see that the entry is locked at the moment, and it defaults down. It hides any values that or any data fields that don't have any data in them. And we can see that some of these have links to in them, uh, and these are active links. The, this particular link goes to another world builder data type, um, whereas this one goes to an NPC. This one goes to uh, an image and we can see that you can do link all sorts of different types of data in here. If we unlock this entry, we can see that uh, we've got choices of place, group or religion and a number of the data fields change depending on which one we choose. So we've got this as a place. We can see Sword Coast is set up to link to a data uh, that Point, but I don't have a, a anything called Sword Coast just yet, but it's there ready to be dragged in. Now, every one of these fields is a formatted text field, so you can put any type of formatting that Fantasy Ground supports in here. You can drag all types of objects in here, and they'll turn into links. You can do tables, you can do headings, a bold and underline, you can do bullet points, uh, you can do chat bubbles in here. So we've got a number of fields, we've got place, description, GM notes, PC notes. Now, the description and the PC notes are the only notes that the players will see when you share this record to them. Uh, type, so the city of Wardeep, it's a, it's a city. Um, you can put whatever types of uh, information here that makes sense to you. Demographics, so mostly human, we've also got dwarves, elves, uh, halflings, half elves, gnomes, half orcs. Uh, languages isn't really specified in the source which I was looking at. So, uh, main economic uh, activity going on, the type of government, uh, some history points in here, uh, religions, so the, the four major religions you can see here, I haven't got any information yet on Tempest, so that link uh, is empty. Uh, the leader, uh, the current open lord of Waterdeep is Alaral Silverhand. Uh, I haven't got any major NPCs in here, but then we've got some images. Uh, the, let's see here, there's a typo. Um, you'll see here, this is an image of Waterdeep. So you can add all sorts of information in here. I'm just going to lock that record. And I'll show you one other feature we've got here is there's two fields being description and PC notes that have this little chat bubble next to them. If you click on this, it will send that information to the chat and that's public chat so the players can see that as well. So it's got here, it's a type place, the record is the city of Waterdeep and the content for this particular field is simply said PC notes. Um, whereas uh, if we shared description, we would see uh, this information, the whole information that we would entered in here for the description. So we'll also have a quick look at, say, Denir. Denir is a religion. Uh, he's also a god. Um, but there's various pieces of information here. It works exactly the same way. It's the same field, uh, same data type. Just we've selected religion as to change the types of fields. So some of the things that are different here, we've got goals, deity, adherence, um, most of the other fields are pretty similar. And again, we've got the description and the PC notes, same behavior. They'll be visible to players if you share this record to the players. And uh, you can also send it to the chat window. And you can see that when we do that, uh, we've got a, a slightly different record type here for religion. We lock this and again, the empty fields get hidden. And we'll also have a look at say, the City Watch, the Waterdeep City Watch. Uh, they're a group. Um, <clears throat> they're in the place City of Waterdeep. Um, their headquarters is actually in the Palace of Waterdeep. So 
have entered that one in there as well. Uh, description that everybody pretty much will know. Some notes just for the GM. Some PC notes, so uh, some information, that additional stuff that the PCs might enter. Uh, type police, for, police force. And then these other fields I felt were necessary to enter in. Uh, the current leader of the City Watch. And the code legal if you've ever uh, adventured in Waterdeep. Um, the code legal is the the main rules, the main laws that the city watch will enforce. Of course, there are many, many other laws, probably many arcane laws they can use to trip you up when they need to, but these are the ones that all adventurers in the city ought to be aware of. And what we might do as well is quickly share one of these records uh, with a player. So Hatterai is connected. I'm going to share this record with Hatterai. Uh, we'll, we'll also just drop this description into the chat and we'll see that, again, a slightly different frame into the chat when we do this. Let's switch to uh, Hatterai's view. You can see the window has popped up for Hatterai and in the World Builder campaign tool, uh, Hatterai will also see Waterdeep City Watch. Uh, that record is available to you, to to Hatterai. Now, this is a neat feature. You'll have this extra icon here, this edit icon, and this is a, a new feature. Most records that are, most records are not editable by a player character. Player characters can only edit their character sheets and notes that they create. So this is a new feature, and to click on this, opens up a new window. So uh, Hatterai has uh, discovered this piece of information, has entered in, and they hit submit. You can see here it tags it with the player's name, Hatterai, and it puts his note in and it's added it to the PC notes. And again, this will be visible by the GM and by any players that have access to this record. And once again, if the, the GM has this, you can see the GM record has updated automatically. And the GM can also share this text with all the players as well, just with a click of the chat button. Uh, open to suggestions, comments, feedback. Uh, I hope this tool proves useful to you. Thanks for watching.